build it, make it, play it. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The premiere of the Hard Lake City Movie Theatre is just about to commence. Hello, hello! Welcome to Build It, Make It, Play It! Now, if you had seen my LEGO Friends leaks video for 2021, you would have been well aware that this set was coming out from LEGO in January and I have finally got my hands on the Heart Lake City Movie Theatre! I cannot tell you how excited I am to build this set for you. It is stunning, this set. It's so glamorous. It is absolutely crammed with Art Deco features. Lots of gold, loads of lights. It's quite a compact set, but it is absolutely packed full of features. There are hinges, there are moving parts. You can even pop your own mobile phone into the cinema and watch whatever you like. You can create a VIP screening area for all of your Lego Friends dolls. And we have three characters that come with this set. We have Andrea, we have a brand new character, we've got Julian, the cinema usher, and we've got our beautiful, glamorous movie starlet, Amelia. What an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous set. Shall we get building? Okay, let's get this box open. In this set, we have got an instruction manual. We've got some lilac base plates. We have one, two, three, four bags. Oh, another base plate and some gorgeous gold stickers. First up, we're building out Andrea and she is wearing a fuchsia pink outfit for her grand premiere at the Heart Lake City Movie Theatre. Look at the size of that gold bow. On pops her head and her hair. And Andrea, she's out for autographs. She wants Amelia's autograph, so she's got an autograph pad. Oh, your hair's fallen off, Andrea, on that pops. And she's got a little tiny pen to get autographs. Oops, oh dear, it's fallen out. Come on, Andrea, hang on to that pen. Come on, Andrea, hang on to that pen. There we go, she's got it. Okay, so we're starting our build and we're starting out with a lilac base plate and some cream tiles and our first of our hinge pieces. Now this is going to start building our seating area and these hinges are going to help facilitate the whole of the cinema opening up. Just building out some more details with some cream tiles and those little curved bricks and some little lights. On goes another lilac base plate and we're starting to build out our tiered seating area. On goes some black base plates. And here we go, we're building our first seat. And you know in these vintage cinemas we always have these lovely beautiful red velour seats. On that, oh yeah, get that in the right place, there we go, on that seat pops. And we're just building out another seat that's going to go next to it. And these little black clips, they're our drinks holders. On that pops. Oh yes, might need a headrest, there we go. And we're building out our front row. We have three seats in the front row. We have five seats in total. Now how many Lego Friends girls are there? There we go, you've worked it all out. They have their own VIP cinema experience. And all of the seats get these lovely curved armrests. I love these little popcorn boxes. I've seen these before in the little Lego cubes, but they are so gorgeous, aren't they? And we're making our little slushy cups now. On pops the straw. Now one blue one and one red one. Oh my goodness, I cannot imagine what flavours these are, but if you let your children drink them, I'm sure they'll literally just fly off the planet. Out comes a nice shiny base plate and on go these corner red wedge pieces and some extra lights. And we have our first sticker! On that sticker pops, here we go, we've got a cinema screen. On the back we're just adding on these pin hinges and all will be revealed in a second. And turn that over and we're going to add some star detailing onto the front of that cinema screen. Grab yourself an arm and start popping all of these different pins in. Now please, please follow the instructions. You need to make sure these pins go in exactly the right side. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Oh, come back, come back, come back. 
and on goes this little pin brick and that just slots into the side onto that pin hinge and we're going to make exactly the same for the other side but completely the opposite again follow the instructions make sure those pins go on the right side otherwise you're in for a whole world of hurt it's not going to work on goes that little pin brick and again it just slots in the other side and there we go we have a hingeable cinema screen slot that down yeah that needs to go in front of the cinema seats you don't watch the cinema screen behind you do you building up those walls just a little bit more the one great thing about this cinema seating area it's not very enclosed so you can easily get your characters into the seats there we go one cinema screen with seating area right we're grabbing a little hinged base plate adding a pin into that and adding these little grid pieces and these are going to be our speakers bring that cinema screen back in and they just slot into the side of those arms there we go we have a cinema screen with speakers we're on to our third character now and we have julian the cinema usher in this gorgeous gorgeous burgundy and gold outfits on his head goes and he's got his little silver glasses and he's got the most gorgeous 1950s quiff hair now does he remind you of someone he looks a little bit like the bellboy from the heart lake city grand hotel kind of thinking there might be a little bit of reuse going on here and julian gets to hold a little popcorn box on that goes go on get that on your hand hang on to that julian there we go oh oh dear you've fallen over oh oh, oh no you've fallen over again oh and again oh julian that's just embarrassing off he goes and we're grabbing another one of those lilac plates and we're starting to build out our entrance way to the cinema. Now every movie theatre premiere needs a red carpet so we're starting to add our red carpet going into our movie theatre. There are so many curved pieces and lights in this set and we have these really lovely curved walls at the front of the cinema so we're just starting to build out the walls and to get those curved angles in now we're bringing in our seating area and we're going to clip it onto the front of that cinema with that little hinge and you'll start to see that the whole of the front of the cinema will start to open up this is the first of many pillars and we're just building it up with these little studs adding a glass door with a navy blue top and a gold star and here we go with some more stud pieces and we're building out a red pillar with this red tile and red 1x4 bricks and some lights adding some archway details behind that doorway and just building up the front of the cinema with those light blue pieces okay so we're starting to build our popcorn and slushy kiosk here we go with the slushy dispensers. On they go. Yeah, I might have built it round the wrong way. Take that off and turn it around. <laughs> and we have the top of our slushy machine. Ooh, red and blue. I would love to know what flavours these are. I imagine they are literally going to make your children glow. Okay, we're building out the kiosk with a little archway, building up that roof line, and we have our top hinge. And that just attaches on to the seating area give it a little bit more strength more pillars going on and we have our second sticker we have a little till ready for julian to sell all of his popcorn and slushies just attaching that pillar onto the actual building and this is the first of one of our curved wall pieces and we're adding a sticker on here maybe for some kind of a space exploration film on that pops and clipping more studs together to create some more light pillars this time round they've got some blue plates going on the front more lights going on there and they sit just either side of what's going to become our ticket kiosk on goes the counter and look at that little ticket how cute is that and we have more stud bricks going along the top and we're just finishing it off with some blue plates and some lights Oops, on you go again, <laughs> pinging off lights everywhere and finishing off that roof line there with some more blue plates. 
Okay, so those stud pillars, we're just adding on a blue plate and we have these really gorgeous half curved cylinders and finishing off the top of that ticket kiosk with a lilac plate. Now we're bringing in another lilac base plate and just turn that over, add some bricks on and this is going to be the roof line for our entranceway. And we're on to our final character, it's Amelia the Starlet and she's wearing this gorgeous teal dress. She's starting off with a Lego Disney dress and we're topping it off with this gorgeous teal and gold dress. And one beautiful little detail on this character is that if you spin her around, that gold detailing and that necklace, that follows all the way around the back of the character. Now this is something that doesn't happen very often with the Lego Friends characters. On goes her head and she has these gorgeous thick brook shield style eyebrows and these really beautiful big burgundy lips get me all the m&ms you can find but only the blue ones and off she struts to her premiere in comes another lilac base plate and we're building out the other side of the entrance hall this has got a double doorway into the movie theater so we're creating a mirror image of the other side that we've just built out on goes the red carpet and some more light details. And there we go. And building out these wall pieces. On goes another curved wall piece. Now this little front section is a really nice little detail. It's our VIP area and we're starting it off with some gold studs. I'm bringing in a red tile and we're just adding this gold star detail. And this is where Amelia is going to stand to have a photograph taken and to sign some autographs. And we're adding in this gold chain detail just so nobody can get anywhere near Amelia under any circumstances. Stay away from the starlet. All right, so we're bringing in the other side of that doorway and just clipping it into that hinge. And as you can see, the whole front of the cinema will eventually open. Building out another pillar piece with these little studs. And fixing that onto the other side of the doorway. We're bringing in our second door with a gold star handle of course and we have another pillar for the other side again mirroring the opposite door with those red tiles and that light detail building up the walls and those arch details behind the doorway and on goes that light blue wall now this next doorway this is going to be the doorway to the toilet of course you're going to need a toilet after drinking those massive red and blue slushies and we're adding another hinge piece and some more pillar details and in the toilet we're going to have a plant pot and we're building out the toilet yay <laughs> and making up a little sink with a gold tap on that pops we're adding our second curved wall and it looks like it might be a movie theater poster is that a convertible aston martin who knows and yet more pillar details with lights. If you know anything about Art Deco, everything has got to be completely symmetrical. So those pillar details are just going to edge that VIP area. Now this next piece is not a door, it's going to be a privacy screen. I don't think Amelia would be very happy having a toilet behind her VIP area, so <laughs> I don't think that would go down very well in those paparazzi pictures, would it? So we're creating a privacy screen between Amelia and that toilet. Topping it off with some blue plates. And we are just building out that roof line at the top. And mirroring the other side with those quarter cylinders. So when it goes together, it creates this lovely cylindrical shape. Adding on some more light details and starting to build out the roof line. We're going to mimic the other side with that lilac base plate. Pop that on over the entranceway. Moving on up, we're going to be building out our projection area. And we're building our little projector. Now I love this feature. It's got lots of nice little Technic pieces here. We've got lots of pins and pin hinges. And here's our projector lens on that pops. And we have these little cogs and they just pop onto those little axle pins. And we have three cogs that sit together really nicely and look, they spin round. Add a red handle and top that off with a black tile. And on the other side, we have our film reel. Now we need two of these, one for spooling off and one for spooling on. 
pop those on and if you turn the handle, the film reel turns around. How awesome is that? On that clips, there we go, we have a pivoting projector. We're building out the roof line now and we have more of these stud pieces and they're going to hold our cinema signs. Just building out this projection area a little bit more and the projectionist, of course he needs a chair. Do you think Julian's the projectionist? Do you think he runs the whole cinema single-handedly? Maybe he does. Building out that roof line a little bit more, adding some more curved pieces, just to keep the Art Deco feel. Now these curved pieces I first saw in Cinderella's Royal Carriage, but these are beautiful, glossy red. They add a really nice touch to the front of the cinema. We're building out our cinema signs. Lots of lovely curved details here, lots of heart-shaped plates. And just adding on some curved tiles, bit of a blue and white theme going on, but look at this gorgeous red heart plate. And some more lights and gold stars. And we have another sticker, now playing. Oh, what are we playing? I can't wait to find out. Pop that onto the front of the cinema. Oh, make sure that's on properly and we're building out the rest of our sign. Now this completely mirrors the other side, so you're creating a mirror image here. Popping on those curved details and that lovely heart plate, more lights and stars, and another sticker, a heart Lake City story. Bringing in a curved tile and just finishing that off on the back with some more curved tiles. This is going to be our cinema sign and it's going to be adorned with all of these lights. So we're just popping on these little stud plates and adding lots and lots of lights to the side of our cinema sign. And in comes our cinema sticker with beautiful gold art deco typography. Look at that, stunning. And we're going up and we're going to add all of this to the front of our cinema. I should say movie theatre, shouldn't I? Movie theatre. And you see those studs there? That's where our cinema sign goes. And of course it clips in just to one side, otherwise we're not going to be able to open up the cinema. Ta-da! And the whole thing opens up so that you can get into that VIP screening area. And there's our screening area with our little seats and our moving projector. And our toilet, of course. And coming round to the front, that VIP area. Now there's a neat little feature in this set. You can grab your mobile phone or your parents' mobile phone, pop it down in front of that cinema screen. You could always put a bit of build it, make it, play it on there. Whatever you fancy. And there we have it, the Lego Friends Heart Lake City Cinema. In comes our starlet Amelia and Julian the Cinema Usher. Tickets please! And Andrea with her ticket ready to go in and see that premiere. So, what do you think of this set? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe. I have so many more videos coming up. I literally have ideas just bursting out of my ears at the moment. Thank you again.